Hello, everybody. So I promised you that I'm going to make you a dedicated video about the quails. I did months of research, months of hiding in the bushes with my camera, climbing on the trees with my camera, laying flat in my backyard in the hot sun with my camera, try to get the best documentary to put together the best documentary for quails. And my research paid off. I've got some nice footage and I've learned more about the quails than probably National Geographic. So enjoy the video. So the quails are outside. I'm gonna get some birdseed and give them. <clears throat> I have some birdseed here. And I buy them by like 20, 20 pound bags. Actually this is bigger than 20 pounds. That should be plenty of birdseed. Yeah, I buy them from Sam's Club. By, I don't know, this looks like 50, 40 pound, wow. That's a 40 pounder. That's, that's what I buy. So let's see. Let's give them the bird food. The wild bird seed. And see what happens. So I'm gonna drop it right here. That should be plenty of bird seed. It should last them a week. Because they have small bellies, you know. Okay, so remember I said the quails, uh, they had a nest near my house in the bushes. So the chicks hatched. So look at the small hatchlings. They are smaller than your smallest, smallest bird. They are really small, small. like they're tiny. There is no way I could give you a perspective of their size because there's nothing next to it to compare. But all I could say is, is that they're the size of a small finch. That's how small they are. And sometimes with a f when a finch sits right next to them, uh, the finch is actually bigger. Uh, I ho I'm hoping that a finch will come and sit here so you could get a perspective of their size. As you can see, when the mother eats something, all the chicks are running to the mom uh, and thinking that whatever she's eating must be something good. When the entire, uh, you know, the entire place is filled with different types of seeds, they still want the one seed that the mom is eating or they want to feed right next to mom. Notice how fast they're moving. This video has not been uh, speeded. This is their actual walking speed. These birds uh, are really, really moving fast. Do you see how they sit? They are programmed. I noticed and observed them for weeks and actually months. They're programmed to sit still and use their back camouflage to blend in when there's a hawk flying overhead. Every time I see a flock flying overhead, all of them, all of all together, like a military, um, uh, you know, way, they all sit at once, uh, and uh, they're they're so disciplined, and they are. It's amazing how uh, they are pre-programmed as they hatch, uh, and you know how to survive. They know exactly what to do in order to survive in a harsh environment like. In Southern California, we have hot sun, we have a lot of predators, we have coyotes, foxes, eagles, hawks, um, raccoons, you name it, all kinds of predators. And these babies are, you know, they know how to survive. They already know to follow mom, wherever mom goes, and sometimes they follow dad. Uh, did you see the dad there fighting with the other quails? The, the, because the other quails, they have older uh, uh, chicks these are like you know hatchlings barely they hatch they're so small and the other ones they have older chicks and uh, the mom and dad for these hatchlings don't want the older chicks to come and harm these so the dad is kind of guarding as the mom and the chicks are eating so always I've noticed that when the hatch when the hatchlings or even the female is eating the the male uh, quail 
is like a bodyguard standing in a higher ground and basically making sure uh, the coast is clear and there aren't any hawks or anything else around uh, so that they can eat in peace and harmony. Well, once again, this is not speeded up. That's exactly how fast they walk. The video is not speeded up. These little hatchlings walk really fast because at this age, they cannot fly. Their only defense is walking. Now, these are the older hatchlings. Actually, they are not. They are actually older chicks. They are not hatchlings. They they hatched months ago, and they are the older ones. These are the ones who wanted to come. And just one male uh, quail was guarding, keeping all of these, like a big uh, group of these quails, keeping keeping them off and away from the little hatchlings, not allowing them to come and harm the hatchlings or you know step over them because they are so fragile that you have no idea how fragile they are i mean they are fragile than a feather that's how fragile they are and uh, the the uh, another thing that i realized which is so amazing how you know god has created these creatures that they already know that a, a rabbit is harmless these are chicks we're talking about we're not talking about adult quails adult quails obviously know that rabbits are not hunting them or and they're harmless but chicks already know that this rabbit is not going to hurt us and they're just so comfortable around the rabbit and the ra rabbit is minding his own business eating bird food which he's not he's not supposed to but hey it's a game of survival game of convenience when you have some bird food why not enjoy it so these little chicks they uh they belong to this pair. This is this is the father, and the mom is somewhere in there, right there behind behind it is the mom. Now, I realized that that quails lay dozens and dozens of eggs. I mean, they have multiple chicks. Now, I also realized another thing that quails uh, actually roam around and feed in multiple groups. So basic, basically, you have two, three moms and two, three dads with all the chicks all together roaming around and trying to find food and well they hit the gold spot they came to a house where it is plentiful food is plentiful and now i'm going to put some water to see if i can make them drink some water because it's so hot out there okay so i pour some water when they were gone and here they are back now I try to put water in like a pot or different types of containers. They are not interested. They only drink water if it's on the ground. Luckily, there's a little indentation in the concrete which generates a little water puddle where they're drinking water, the little hatchlings are drinking water, the mom and dad is drinking water and enjoying. The heat is so much that some of the uh, hatchlings are sitting down and allowing their belly feathers to get wet from the and soak some water so they could chill because the uh, the the heat is really hot the outside outside is nearly 85 90 degrees maybe not 90 but 85 87 degrees and it's around like 3 or 4 p.m. which is pretty pretty hot and uh, uh, right now they're all enjoying uh, the pud water puddle and drinking Luckily, there aren't any coyotes or any other wildlife around to bother them. Now, I looked up their life expectancy, and I wasn't too impressed with their life expectancy. Uh, they are expected to survive around two years. That's about it. So because of the multiple um, factors, such as uh, food shortages, uh, forest fires, or brush fires or, or um, hawks and other predators and these poor quails are not gonna make it more than two years and now they might survive longer in a captivity but in the wild that's about the going uh, life uh, length uh, for these uh, beautiful magnificent creatures notice mom and dad are both in there with all the hatchlings and there aren't any other uh, uh, like uh, g grown mid-size quails at this moment but at any moment they could get here and bother these babies and if that happens the male quail will jump and defend its uh, hatchlings
Okay, so this is day two. These are not those hatchlings. These are the mid-sized chicks that are probably a month or two old. And uh, they are roaming and looking for food. Uh, I just noticed them outside my window. So I'm going to go and pour some bird food. At the moment, all the bird food that I uh, spill or I throw there is gone. I mean, these little chicks are hungry. And the bird food is all gone. Here we have some bird food that spilled over to other side of the fence. And they're enjoying that. Uh, although I do have a water, a bird water feeder and water bath, as you can see up there. But these quails are not interested in that. If the water is not uh, in their own eye level, uh, ground level, they are not interested at all. And uh, currently, all of these quails are, uh, there are only a couple of, uh, maybe two or three adults. And most of these are juveniles who that just hatched. Although they're juveniles, believe it or not, they can fly just as good as their parents. And uh, I noticed that in the, in the few research and clips that I felt uh, that I filmed uh, that uh, they are not uh, as long as they are a, m a month or so old they are not limited to walking they can fly and I also realized that uh, these uh, birds prefer walking and hiding in bushes compared to flying when it comes to a hawk presence of a hawk or any other predators just like roadrunners roadrunners are interested in running even though a roadrunner is well equipped with wings that will lift it and it, it's able to fly but they are pref their preferences is to walk away from danger instead of fly away now if the danger is imminent and it's very close then i've noticed that they are even flying I'm talking about the roadrunners. Now, the the quails are, uh, will definitely fly. They don't walk their way out of danger. But if the danger gets too close, they fly. Uh, but they also run to bushes, like walk really fast, like running, and they run to the bushes. Now they're coming closer to the house, and I'm going to follow them to the side yard to see what are they doing and what are they eating and what's going on that they're going on the side yard. There must be something that I'm not aware of. So I'm going to go find out and bring the footage to you. So that is the father quail guarding and making sure everything is okay for the chicks to roam around the side yard.
They all got spooked. I don't know what happened. They all got spooked. So here I have set up a secondary high definition camera outside so I could pick up first hand sound that these little chicks make. And I'm going to put that video once it's ready and edit it. Meanwhile, notice we have multiple quails and multiple rabbits together enjoying their bird food. Now, all the rabbits are known to eat fresh vegetables and grass, but they do occasionally eat bird food. Well, in this case, always eat bird food when they're given a chance. And uh, amazingly, they are not spooked or afraid of the camera. The camera is sitting there on a tripod. I made sure to use a small mini tripod so it doesn't spook them. I, don't, I didn't want a big old tripod. Now this male is looking at the camera and is kind of like confused as to what this is. This doesn't look like a part of the nature. He's like, what the heck? He's looking at the camera and walking around and making sure that everything is cool and the chicks are not in danger and this is not some kind of a trap or something. Now, notice wherever an adult quail goes, the chicks will follow. So this adult quail, which is the male or their father most likely, is close to the window, very close to the window, nearly like a couple of feet from where I'm standing with my camera. Now I'm on this side of the glass, uh, so the quail cannot see me because the, the reflection of the sun and whatnot. However, if I were outside with my camera, they would never come to me. These creatures are really shy. I have noticed one thing, quails are a lot more shy than any other bird. So I just noticed all these quails are freezing. They are freezing like a statue, not moving a muscle. And I was like, what the heck is going on? Why are they freezing like this? I zoomed my camera onto the sky and look what I found. A hawk. I found a hawk. The hawk is flying still at the same basically gliding in one spot and all these quails are not moving they are freezing still waiting for the fox for the hawk to go away let's see what happens the hawk is still there let me zoom out and see what's going on oh my god there is another hawk on the left there are two hawks no wonder they're so afraid. There are two hawks hovering in the same spot. They're just frozen still. Now this hawk is coming down. Let's see, let's see it's coming down. Okay. I think it has found its prey. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I thought I was jumping on the quails, but I guess not. It was something else. These quails are safe. Look, this thing is so scared. Look how it's breeding. It's breeding because it's so scared and they're not moving a muscle. They're lot they're all just frozen in time. They are frozen in time literally, freezing without any, any movement at all. Look at that. This is unbelievable. In any animal kingdom, in any birds, this hasn't been documented for birds to freeze still like that. They are not moving a muscle. They're, ne they're not even moving their heads because there were a couple of hawks and one actually dived, the other one might still be up there, but they are just standing still. This is such an amazing shot. I wasn't even expecting such an amazing shot. This is natural, National Geographic standard. Look at that. They're not moving a muscle. And you know what's amazing? It's amazing how the chicks obey the parents. They already know if the parents are not moving, they are not supposed to move. This is unreal. This is unreal. They are standing still. Look how the chick is scared. Look how it's, it's, it's breathing air in and out so rapidly because they're so afraid. They're so scared. And they don't know what will happen. They've never seen a hawk. All they know is that must be danger 
If parents are still, I better be still. Wow, this is amazing. So those quails were frozen still for a very long time, nearly 15 minutes. This is the same day, uh, like a couple of hours later. And now they're in peace and harmony and continuing to eat. And they are all so happy that they get to live another day. The hawk is gone, the danger is gone, life goes on, and they are happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos to come. Thank you for watching.